Okay, part C. Uh, Serena can identify in advance the samples that Yuto can analyze in under 15 minutes, and in future she will assign these to someone else. Estimate the median time taken by Yuto to analyze samples in future. Okay, so now, basically, we have our curve, our normal curve. Now, what they've told us here is something to maybe throw you off a bit. They've told us about the median time and not the mean time. Now, it doesn't actually make any difference. They could have said the median time, they could have said the mean time, they could have said the mode time even, because the mean, the mode, and the median is all the same when we're dealing with normal distribution. Normal, normally distributed data is symmetrical. Okay, so the mean and the mode and the median will all be the same. So it doesn't matter whether they say estimate the median or the mean or the mode, it will still be the same answer. So you can treat it just like the the mean. They normally mention the mean, so you can just treat it just like the mean. So we know that the original data, okay, the median or the mean time was 18. Okay, now, um, basically what's going to happen is all the samples which are less than 15 minutes, that take less than 15 minutes for Yuto to analyze, will be given to someone else. So all of this stuff won't be here anymore. All this stuff will be gone. What will be left is all of this. Okay, so we got to now find the median time for Yuto to analyze this data. So basically what you can see, obviously, is the median time is going to be shifted up a bit now. Okay, because we're going to have more longer data to analyze. So it's going to be somewhere over here. Now, what we know is the area of this whole section, which I'll just highlight. The area, um, the area of this whole section. Okay, let me just make this a bit. The area of this whole section here. Okay, which I'll just highlight in yellow. Okay, we know that area because that was the, the probability that it took more than 15 minutes. Okay, so if we go back to our previous question, part B, the probability it took more than 15 minutes, okay, which was um, found in part B, the probability it took more than 15 minutes was this, 0 0.7257. And minus 0 0.6, yes, 0 0.7257. So we know that the whole of this area here, the whole thing, is 0 0.7257. Now, what we want to do is we want to find the median for this area here. So what we'll do is we'll take this area and divide it by 2. Okay, then half of the area will be on this side and half the area will be on that side and then we can work out what that median is. So we're going to take 0 0.7257 and divide it by 2. So 0 0.7257 divided by 2 gives us 0 0.36285. 0 0.36285. So that's the area on either side of this. Okay. So I want to find the Z value such that 3 0.36285 is to the right of it, you could say. Okay, and that will be the whole of this area to the left of it. I'm not really interested in all this area, but I'm interested to know what the value of Z is, such that th this area is to, to the right of it. Okay, so um, we know that the area that we need, we know, we know that the, the table that we have, okay, the table that we have for the normal distribution, the Z values give us the area to the left of that value. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to find okay the area to the uh, to the to the to the right to the to the right of this value of Z. Okay, so that's what we need to find. All right, so this is the area this is the area to the uh, to the right. We want the area to the left. The area to the left. Okay, the area to the left of this Z value is going to be 1 minus this area. So we've got to do 1 minus this area, 36285. And that's the area that we're going to be looking for in the table, all of this area here. Okay, so we take this value we found, do 1 minus that, and that gives us 0 0.63715. 0 0.63715. 
Now what we've got to do is we've got to go back to our um, table and look at 0 0.63715 as an area. So if we, if we look at the Z value 0 0.63715, 0 0.63715. Okay, let me just take this whole section here and we can just decide what's closest to it. So we go take that value. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna paste them over here so we can see with our value what's closest to it. Okay, so these are this is a, the sample close to what we need. Okay, so 0 0.63715. It looks like it's 0 0.35. 0 0.35 is what we're looking for. That's the area which is uh, that's that's the closest value to what we have. So we're looking for the z value of 0 0.35. So we can say that the z value here is equal to 0 0.35 okay the z value here is equal to 0 0.35 so now that's the standardized value we got to unstandardize it so remember we know that the the standardized value is equal to the value minus the mean over the standard deviation sigma okay so what we can do here is we know the z is 0 0.35 so we have 0 0.35 is equal to what we're looking for which is x which is going to be the new median minus the mean which was 18 over the standard deviation which is 5 and so we got x equals 5 times 0 0.35 plus 18 and that will give us our new median so let's see what that gives us we're going to have 5 times 0 0.35 plus 18 which gives you 79 over 4 which is 19.75 19.75 which we can say is equal to 19.8 to 3 as f okay 19.8 and there we have our new median 19.8 and that's the end of that question so 19.8 minutes Okay.